Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about pre-reading activities that you might be able to use with English language learners. The example that we're going to look at today would be in a social studies class, probably around grade five. And the topic is going to be 9-11 and terrorism in the United States. So I would like for you to imagine that students have to read the following article. It's an authentic article taken from Scholastic for Kids. So the title of the article is What Happened on 9-11? And I'm not going to read this article to you, but definitely go to the link and read the article for yourself. In this article, they're going to learn what happened on 9-11, who attacked us, how did America respond, and how did America change? This page is helpful because it already gives the key words for the students so that they understand some of the difficult vocabulary word. However, before doing the reading, I think there's a series of pre-reading activities that you should do, if not for all students, then especially for your English language learners to make the concept a little bit more easy for them. So, one example, might be when you start discussing 9-11, uh, you might want to look at some pictures of New York City, uh, both before and after pictures. Okay, in this example, um, I have a picture of the Statue of Liberty, and it is a newer picture of the Statue of Liberty, and you can see the new World Trade Center in the background of this picture. So you could talk a little bit about New York City, show pictures of New York City, uh, and especially of the Statue of Liberty, since that's one of the main um, sightseeing points in New York City. Okay, but of course you want to focus on the Twin Towers, so you could then draw attention to what the Twin Towers look like prior to 2001, and then during the event, what happened during 9-11 when the airplanes flew into the Twin Towers. So by looking at the pictures, of course, that, that helps students to recall maybe stories that they've heard uh, from their own families about 9-11, uh, if they were living here, or if not, what they heard about 9-11 um, abroad from their parents and family members who were born at that time. Remember, if this is uh, a group of fifth grade students, they probably weren't born when 9-11 happened. Um, you could have more discussions about of course, the Statue of Liberty and then drawing um, the Statue of Liberty into your discussion about the Twin Towers and then talking about the concept of 9-11. So not only using pictures like we did in the first pre-reading strategy, but you could also use questions as a good pre-reading strategy. And you might think about using a mind map such as this bubble map, uh, where students could write, even in their own language, if possible, uh, as much as they know about the 9-11 attacks, who did the attacks, and how America responded to those attacks. So these are three examples of pre-reading activities. Now in this assignment, I want you to think about the 9-11 reading passage, and then design at least two different post-reading activities. And these can be for all students or they could be especially for English language learners. Uh, you can decide as you're discussing your activities uh, if they would only be for ELLs or if they would be for all students. Okay, good luck as you move on to this assignment.